What's up everybody? So I'm back with another reaction video. So today I'm reacting to Mr. Garrison's best moments. Everybody, once I was talking about the Freaky Santa, everybody was telling me that I should definitely react to Mr. Garrison's uh, best moments because that Freaky Santa is his boyfriend. That is crazy. But yes, after these, I'm going to do him and Craig and then I'm getting straight into the full episodes, period. Okay. And I just wanted to know, should I react to season one episode one and go from there or should i go through the list of recommended because a lot of you guys have sent me um seasons and episodes that are like super funny that you guys wanted me to react to so should i go through the recommended first or should i just start from season one episode one so definitely leave it in the comments and whatever i get the most of is what i'll do i just wanted to pop back in and give a big thank you to mo transformers for the contribution to the channel i just wanted to say that i appreciate you so 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 much and thank you for you know supporting me and being a part of the journey we're just starting and i can't wait to see what else is in store children children to honor this special time of year we'll be doing a canned food drive does anybody know what a canned food drive is when they cut up a chick's stomach to get a baby out what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, that's a cesarean section, Eric, but that's okay. Remember, there are no stupid questions, just stupid people. Mr. Garrison, were you in Vietnam? Not the PTSD, oh lord. Who's next to take a shower? Me. <laughs> but sometimes I like to pretend I was. I want you all to find somebody in your own life who is in Vietnam and interview them about it. What if we don't know anybody who is in Vietnam? Then you get an F, fail the third grade, and have to get a job cleaning septic tanks to support your drug habit. That's not fair. Oh. Hey, look, it's Mr. Garrison. Hello, children. How is your summer going? Summer sucks ass, Mr. Garrison. Hey, have you found Mr. Hat yet? Oh, oh, that old thing? Why, I almost forgot he was gone. I that is terrible five o'clock shadow i think that's five o'clock shadow or it's dirt but i'm assuming it's five o'clock shadow that looks terrible on him <laughs> he's down bad let me ask you this why where, where do you think mr hat went how the f should i know if i knew that i wouldn't be seeing a f psychiatrist would i well i guess I, I see what you're saying you know at first i was sure one of the children took him but then i remember that mr hat and i actually had a fight that morning um <clears throat> Are you gay? What? What? It's, it's, just a, it's just a question. Are you propositioning me? No. Well, I can tell you that I'm 100% not gay. Well, I, I believe you. I absolutely believe you. Mr. Hat, on the other hand. Mr. Hat was gay? Sometimes he fantasizes about same-sex relations. Mr. Hat, is that the puppet that he just had? <laughs> so he has a gay puppet that ran away from him? Harrison, I think that Mr. Hat was actually your gay side trying to come out. You see, it's it's you that's gay, but but you're in denial, so you act out your gay persona with a homosexual puppet. What do you think about that? You're onto something, Doc. I think you're the loony one in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right, you gay bashing homo. <laughs> oh my God. <gosh. laughs> Wait, he replaced the puppet with a twig and a t-shirt? I'm really crying. Not coming back. I told you never to mention that name in my classroom again. Mr. Head is a two-time and whore, and now we all learn from Mr. Twig. But Mr. Twig sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is enough. Mr. Head is gone, and he isn't coming back, and I don't want to hear it. Anyway, children, let's turn to our history textbooks to page 105. Which Pass this up. Me, but it didn't work. Pass this up. Robert, you're Pass this up. <laughs> Pass this up. Who? Stanley, are you... Oh my gosh, his hair. He's stressed. Don't lie, Stan. Lying makes you sterile. I'm not lying, so I'm just <laughs> Stanley, if you think it's so important to keep interrupting my class, then why don't you come up to the front and read your note to Kyle for everyone to hear? No. Mr. Garrison, Stan's behavior is having an adverse effect on my education. Shut up, Cartman. Stanley Marsh, you can yeah, shut up, Cartman. Right now and read your note. Oh, man. <laughs> Dear Kyle, you have got such a great ass. I could sleep for days on those perk cheeks, let me tell you. 
I'd like to live with you and wear your ass as a hat for all eternity. <laughs> Is everybody's face being so shocked right now? Oh my gosh. Hello, children. Ready for lunch? <laughs> getting fired because he's calling nine-year-olds bitches and threatening them. <laughs> Gosh, Carmen. You can always leave it to him to do something. Something. But that's so funny. I couldn't imagine, like, having to go in front of, like, the group and be, like, all perky and excited. And then no one's reacting. Like, <laughs> at that point, I'm gone. Excuse me. Okay. Go ahead. Children, we are a national choir called Getting Gay with Kids. We're going to do a big tour down in Central America to help save the rainforest, and you can be a part of it. You see, we take kids from all over the country and put them in a choir where we sing and dance. That guy, he looked like a grown man. Is he a grown man? That is a grown man. That is a grown man right there. He looks like a grown man. <laughs> he looks like a principal or someone's dad. Just in a little tiny body. Did you know over 10,000 acres of rainforest are bulldozed every year? That's right. And over 30% of the world's oxygen is made in the rainforest. Ooh, so Kenny. Like join the fun. What if you don't have any rhythm? Excuse me? We're like my friend Kyle. He's Jewish, so he doesn't have any rhythm. Shut <laughs> up, fat ass. Players suck. Kyle Boblowski, you watch your language. Eric Carmen, you be nice to people. Stan Mars, you mind your manners. Kenny McCormick, you pay attention. <sighs> Go ahead. <laughs> what? What? I brought you some more juice, Mr. Twig. Ooh. Are you feeling any better? It's the picture of Leonardo DiCaprio and the Twig having its own bedroom for me. Okay. <laughs> like, this is this is not okay. This is not okay. I don't know who would want to hurt you like this, but I promise nobody will ever hurt you again. Ever. Mr. Mr. Twig, are you okay? Mr. Mr. Twig? Ah! Mr. Twig is broken in hell! Who did this? You won't get away with this, you bastard! At this point, the Twig is doing it to itself. It's trying to put itself out of its own misery. <laughs> it's like, please leave me alone. Please. No, Garrison, you'll just try to have sex with it. <laughs> what? How dare you say what that? What was that? Garrison, you remember what happened to the wounded pigeon you were supposed to take care of? Oh, come on. You all know that pigeon was a total slug. Oh, I've got a barn it can stand. It 
ain't much, but it's heated. Well, that sounds fine. Just fine. Fine, just fine. Fine. Now, wait a minute. I want to clear the air here. We all know that pigeon was a whore. Raise your hand if you didn't sleep with that pigeon. <laughs> oh, whatever. You're the only one, sir. You're the only one. And why does that human bird thing have breasts? Did you guys peep that? It had breasts. I have a lot of demons that I need to face, Father. I need to know some things. Okay, like what? All right, all right, let's just cut right to it. I've come to ask you about the sexual abuse, Dad. What? I have to know why. Right here and now, we're going to talk about this. What the hell are you talking about? I never sexually abused you. I know. I want to know why not. What? Was it that I... I seen this in the ranking of the parents. <laughs> this is not okay. Not him wanting that to happen to him. He is a weird person. I wasn't good enough for you. Was that it, Dad? Well, no! Sure, you could go off and screw any whore on Ryland Street, but when it came to your own son, you were just too busy! <laughs> Yo, what? What? Okay, children, we have a new student joining us today from homeschool. Now, his parents are very worried about his safety, so please don't be too cruel to him. Mark? Hey, guys, what's up? Dude, what's wrong with you? You have some kind of John Travolta disease? All right, children. What? Try to pretend there isn't a little boy that you... What's wrong with John Travolta? What's wrong with him? I think he's a pretty decent actor, right? <laughs> now, who can tell me when Columbus sailed the seas and discovered America? Uh, uh, uh. Yes, Mark. Hey, how come you never picked me? Because you never know the right answer, but for brains. Yes, Mark. <laughs> the answer is 1492. However, the Americas had already been discovered by many before him, including the Vikings and the Native Americans, and therefore your question is a charade. Ah, uh, see, that's what I was gonna say. Well, very impressive, Mark. Now, who can tell me what country Columbus was from? Put your hand down, Cream Puff. That does it! <laughs> now I'm calling him Cream Puff. What are they about to do to him? They, did they beat him up? They're gonna jump him or something? I do not need to sit here and be ridiculed. I'm gonna go be homeschooled from now on. You don't wanna be homeschooled, fat ass. I'm gonna be homeschooled and leave all the pain and suffering of public school behind me. Screw you guys. I'm gonna be homeschooled. <laughs> oh, please, God, let it be forever. <laughs> I have some things I really need to talk to you about. About what? Mother, did you know that Dad never sexually molested me? That, that can't be. He never did, Mom, not once. That's not true. Your father... Why is the mom upset about that? Why is she upset as well? Why, did, why is that something that they expect? Okay? What is wrong? What? You can just go to hell. You go to hell and you die. You are a lying ball of turd, Mr. Hat. I hope you starve, you lousy son of a bitch. What are you all looking at? This is between me and Mr. Hat. It's over, Mr. Garrison. This is it. We've had enough. What do you mean? I'm afraid it's the big house for you, fruitcake. What? Fruitcake? Jail? No, 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 oh, 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 damn. no, 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 This is not okay. Well, mom, dad, I guess I better be going. The concert's gonna... I am traumatized, appalled, and shocked right now. Because <laughs> what the fuck? Soon. Are you sure you can't stay one more night, son? No. I think all my work here is done. Dad, I don't know what to say. I feel closer to you than I ever have. Well, I just hope that now we can put the past behind us and, and try to be a normal family again. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Great guys are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. I'm judging. You did the right thing, Papa. I didn't no. do squat. Here you go. A hundred bucks. Don't worry, Mr. Queen. <laughs> He's like, y'all is not getting me to do none of that, but still, not period, not agreeing with any of what just went on, but 
what the fuck is wrong with the mom and what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> Even though Mr. Hat rescued me from prison, I'm still gonna stick with you. Do you love him? It doesn't matter. He left me. Do you love him? Yes. Then run to him. But I feel like I'd be making the wrong decision. Love isn't a decision. It's a feeling. If we could decide who we loved, it would be much simpler. What? the actual fuck this left me very traumatized okay very traumatized very shocked very appalled um didn't get to see freaky santa in this but it's okay we'll see him eventually but so his first relationship was with the hand puppet mr hat and then his second boyfriend was mr stick or mr twig right <laughs> but i understand why he's weird look at his mom okay mom's weird i wouldn't be surprised if all the little kids in his class that he teaches jumped him or beat him up because he'd be talking to them crazy and they don't play either so i wouldn't be surprised if there was an episode where they jumped him or something like that but yeah he's pretty crazy i'm excited to see these full episodes see what they got going on because someone told rewind someone told me that he leaves and then he comes back so i want to know why he left or how he left or things like that i'm excited to see all these moments like unfold fully like in the episode so yes i will see you guys in the next one